Hey everyone, welcome to another training video in SC200 Microsoft Security Operations Analyst series. In this video, I will cover Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe it for future updates. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. The module learning objectives are to define the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps framework, explain how cloud discovery helps you see what's going on in your organization. And finally, describe how to use conditional access app control policies to control access to the applications in the organization. Well, when we talk about the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps, it is a CASB solution. If you are new to this term, CASB stands for Cloud App Security Broker Service and it acts as a proxy in between the endpoints, the users connecting to the cloud applications to control the access of these cloud applications. In other words, the Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps is a security solution that helps protecting your cloud applications like Microsoft 365, Salesforce, or there are thousands of SaaS applications it monitors and controls how users interact with these applications to ensure that the sensitive data is kept safe. How it works? It works by discovering, first of all, it helps you see all the cloud applications that your organization is using, including those that are not officially approved by your organization, referred as shadow IT. Next is protection. It lets you set security policies to protect your data, like preventing users from downloading sensitive files or sharing them with external parties. Risk assessment it can perform. It defines the risky activities like unusual sign-ins or the actions that could indicate a security breach. The compliance, it helps you stay compliant with regulations by monitoring your cloud applications for any issues that could lead to the violations. In a nutshell, the Defender for Cloud apps makes sure that your cloud-based tools and the data are secure and that your employees use them safely. Now that we know that the Defender for Cloud apps as acts as a second or additional security layer, in between the end users and the cloud applications. Let's talk about how you explore your cloud applications with the cloud discovery. The first thing that you should do to get the general picture of your cloud discovery applications is to review the information from the cloud discovery dashboard. Like you look at the overall cloud applications used in the organization in the high level usage overview, you can check that their uh, usage of these applications. You look for the uh, applications category, discovered applications, the cloud discovery open alerts. There are different criterias that you can check from the cloud discovery dashboard. To protect your data, and the applications with the conditional access app control, you can perform the following operations like preventing the data exfiltration. It can block the download, the cut, copy, and the print of the sensitive documents on, or for example, unmanaged devices that you want to prevent these uh, operations. Next is to require the authentication context. It re-evaluates the enter ID conditional access policies when a sensitive action occurs in the session. Protecting on download, it requires the uh, documents to be labeled and encrypted when, the integrate, when it is integrated with the Microsoft uh, purview. Prevent upload of unlabeled files. It ensures that the unlabeled files with sensitive content are blocked from being uploaded until they are classified. Next is block potential malwares. It protects your environment from malwares by blocking the upload of potential malicious files. 
monitor user sessions for compliance. It can uh, identify the risky users. It monitors them when they sign in into the applications and their actions are logged from within the session. Block access. It granularly blocks the access for specific applications in the users that are depending on the risk factor. Block custom activities. Some applications have unique scenarios that carry the risk. For example, sending messages with the sensitive content in the Microsoft Teams. Classify and protect the sensitive information. For this, there are different phases to implement. Like we discover the data first of all, then we classify this sensitive information. We protect this data and finally we check the monitor and report to audit this data to see that how the data has been consumed. Well, this brings to the end of the uh, module about the Defender for Cloud apps. In case you are looking for the detailed uh, implementation steps and the reference material, do visit the description of this video where you will find the uh, Microsoft Learn documentation and the relevant information about the Defender for Cloud apps. I hope this tutorial was informative to you. Thanks for watching and do subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet.